I counted four. I don't know if he's got any more. He looks like a freaking beast. Holy crap. see where a lot of the animals have been walking around. There's some fresh elk. Elk poop right here. Yeah, it's nice. I haven't seen any good sign up until now. This is kind of where I figured they might be, but I'm starting to see uh, indications of there's some elk around. Check the wind. The wind is so important when you're up here elk hunting up in these mountains. We got like a main trail here. Exactly up right where I thought it would be. I was hunting for elk coming around this one spot here. I gotta freaking calm down. Wow, man. I was coming around this one spot and I look and I see this freaking kind of a gray hump in the trees in a thicket. So I'm like, what the heck's that? I freaking pull my binoculars up and I see a deer. I see it's a deer. And then I see his freaking rack. From what I saw, I counted four. I don't know if he's got any more. But he looks like a freaking beast. I'm fucking down. Freaking drilled that thing, man. That happened so freaking fast. I mean, so fast. I didn't even have time to film it, obviously. When I first saw him. He was like right there, you know, like 50 yards. See him just over there. All right, guys, well, holy crap. The beauty. I still can't believe it. Holy smokes. Just feeling blessed right now. Feeling blessed right now. And lo and behold, elk hunt turns into 
mule deer hunt and uh, man, I'm stoked. Thanks, bud. Thank you very much, man. What a beast. What a beast. Oh, man. You are a big boy. All right, guys, well, ah, one of the sharp realities of hunting is when you shoot something and you're by yourself, you gotta pack it out. When you're hiking with frickin' basically a full mule deer on your back, oh, everything is intensified, every step. Every freaking movement. Yeah. It's crazy, man. But this can make a good memory when we get back to the truck. So I'm going to focus on that for now. When I get a little closer, I'll tune back in. Whew. All right, guys. Well, oh, shoulders are screaming. Oh. And, uh, Packed about a mile and a half. Holy shite. Through the blowdown, up a hill, through a valley, up another hill, through another valley. And I think I can see one of the roads I can drive to. It's all worth it, baby. Let's go. Oh. Torch yourself coming back for the camera. All right, guys, well, I made it back. To a main road. Thank freaking God. Um, man, it just stinks like elk up here. It's crazy. But anyway, so grateful for today. You know, when things don't work out, instead of, you know, getting angry or frustrated about it, just sometimes you got to understand that for whatever reason, things don't work out because something else is ahead right so just always try and stay positive and uh even though sometimes it's tough but i'm telling you man like everything happens for a reason so the older i get the more that that all kind of makes sense so pick up your garbage Whew. every time i'm out i always pick up cans any garbage i see i just i have to i feel that's Part of my responsibility as a woman. Make sure I keep this place nice and clean. More often than not, when you pick up garbage like this, it's good karma. And uh, when you throw your garbage out, you're gonna have shitty karma, and I guarantee you that one. So if you're one of those guys chucking your cans and your garbage out in the woods, you're wondering why you never have success, you might want to start thinking about that. Pick up a can instead of throwing it away. Holy. Oh. Come for elk. Go home with a muley. I'll take it. Wow, I'm glad I got out of there when I did. Freaking nasty storm. Holy smokes. Alright, time to drive up the road and pick up the buck.
I guess uh, I won't be hunting a late season muley this year in Region 8. Um, didn't really expect that one. Uh, that's kind of how it works usually. It's always when you least expect it. Crazy things happen. Unfortunately, uh, this year, My mom passed away and uh, from cancer, so <sighs> I'm going to dedicate this deer to my mom. <sighs> rest easy, mom. I love you. To all the rest of you guys. Good luck out there and uh, enjoy your family time, man. Life is precious. Peace.